and you need to take that crooked ass motherfucking polish head out your goddamn head, twist it up, pick it out, and do something with your fucking head, bitch. Got that big hard ass motherfucking ponytail on your motherfucking head. Personally, we tired of it, bitch. That big hard ass motherfucking ponytail on the top of your head and sitting crooked. Sitting fucking crooked and trying to be cute. How you get anything with no income? No sense to get a check stub made by nobody or nothing. Because we know the stupid bitch ain't go, we know the stupid bitch ain't save no motherfucking tax money. Big hard ass. Yeah, that, that ponytail in her head is hard and dry. Hard, dry, matted. It's rocks out of his fuck. She need to take that motherfucking hair down, wash it. Like she need to wash her ass and she need to comb it out. I ain't angry, baby. I'm loud. Who stayed with Jesse? Y'all saying Cream stayed with Jesse? I ain't stay with Jesse. That's, That's a, a lie. Ass lie. It's a lie. I never in my life, and we can get Leo to attest to that. I never in my life stayed with Jesse. Jesse asked me to come over there and kick it with them once or twice, but I, 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 I ain't had something to say. I ain't never stay with no motherfucking Jesse. Get a politi- the ponytail coochie hair and, and, and her hair's armpit hair. Two different textures. Coochie hair and the ponytail armpit. <laughs> I have to be on here acting with y'all out there all night. Y'all get on my nerves. You go back and you let her spend the night with you for four weeks, bitch. Bye. I'm, first of all, no, let me, I'm going to clear it up. First of all, I went to Jesse's house because, one, I was invited, okay? No, I was not homeless. No, I did not need a place to stay. Theo picked me up from home, all right? We went to their house. We got food. Leo cooked. Jesse went and get her fat, sorry ass off the couch and wash dishes so Leo could cook. He had to beg her to get up and, wa- and uh, wash the dishes so he could cook. But anyway, we cooked a marvelous meal. We had a couple of drinks. Leo got a little toasted. And by the time we wound down and got tired, Leo was just like he didn't feel like driving back across town because I stayed a little way away from there, maybe like, you know, 20 minutes drive, but it was dark or whatever. So, you know, it take a little bit longer. So, uh, I went home the next day. I didn't stay at their house for four days. Hell, I didn't even stay there for 24 hours. Shit, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but I ain't never had to stay with no fucking Jesse. What the fuck Jesse gonna say? I had to stay with somebody and she ain't never had her own motherfucking shit for somebody to live with her. The fuck? I lived with her for four weeks. In what world? Jesse ain't stable? No, because at night it's harder for people with glasses to see. ID number, you fucking idiot. And headlights and shit like that tends to mess with people who have vision problems, you stupid idiot. It's hard for people at night to see with glasses, you dummy. The light, the headlights from the from the cars and all that shit fuck with you. People with glasses do not like driving at night. And Leo didn't want to drive at night. And he was intoxicated. I wasn't finna get in the car with no drunk motherfucker anyway. Not with my kids. He got me fucked up. I'll catch this couch 10 in the morning and go home. Shit. The fuck? The fuck? What the fuck somebody gonna say with Jesse and she ain't got no what the fuck to say? Yeah, she was up little tiny days when I got when I when the time I went over there, that was around the time she was kissing up little tiny days. Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. Like that light be fucking with people's eyes, especially if they wear glasses or they got vision problems. Like that light do fuck with people's eyes. I don't, I don't know. 
know too many people that, that drive at night that wear glasses. They just rather not. It's just, you know. 